Check it out. All right, y'all. Got another awesome tutorial today. I'm gonna step outside of my filmmaking stuff and get into some music. Today we're gonna make mini drum pad. Uh, you can use it for, you know, electronic drum kit. You can use it for a mini drum kit. It's whatever. It's electronic. And I'm gonna show you how to build this one for roughly about 30 bucks, maybe 40, maybe 120. It's a big jump. Yeah, man, check it out, you know. I mean, this is what I do. I make videos. I make music. This one's for the beat makers out there. Yeah, check it out. Did I forget anything? All right, we're going to start off with, um, this is an inch medium thickness foam. This is a quarter inch thick foam. And a pie pan. Got this one from the dollar store. Cost a dollar. Go figure. Anyways, what I'm doing is I'm tracing the inside diameter of the, of the pan on the foam and then the outside diameter of the, the rim of the pan. Of course I'm going back in about a quarter inch and that's what I'm going to cut out. Here I got galvanized sheet. I'm cutting that out. This is going to be um, what I'm going to plug my or attach my piezo transducer to. And what I'm using right here is a uh, vinyl you get from the fabric store and I'm cutting it out like a half an inch wider than the outside diameter rim of the pie pan there you go and right here I got another this is going to be the bottom piece of of the vinyl you'll see it later on in the video how I'm going to do this but yeah, basically, it's going to be the same outside diameter right here. And I'm going to sew them together facing each other. I guess the material part or the texture part facing each other. Now, you probably don't have to use a sewing machine, but since I have one, I'm going to use it. I'm going to probably staple it together. It might look like crap, but hey, you got to work with what you got. And here's a pipe, and I've already got the center marked out. And where I'm going to put the uh, RCA plugs on. And then just go in there and carefully drill out. Right here I got three pans I'm drilling out at once. I'm using mono RCA adapters or plugs. And what the hell is that? This is a hardboard that I cut out with a hole saw. Three and a quarter. And quarter twenty bolt. It's just going to hold it all together. Now the purpose of this is to keep it from vibrating so much. Because the pan's got a little bit of flex in it. It's like real thin, tin pan. And I'm tightening it down with a uh, 716 wrench on both sides. You probably use a bolt, like an all thread bolt or something like that. But I, I plan on doing something else different with it. Right here I got the PZO transducer. I picked it up at Radio Shack. It was a couple bucks. Um, what I'm doing is I'm breaking off the hard shell or the outer shell because all I really need is the actual PZO itself and there it is. You Be careful in this one. You don't want to put a dent on it. You take a razor blade and carefully clean off you know the axis glue and stuff like that. And um, here's the galvanized plate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use masking tape and tape it on there. Masking tape works really good because with glue, you have glue between the the PZO and, and the actual surface. Um, I'm putting a little bit of solder there and soldering the, the, the PZO to the RCA plug. Elmer's glue. Hold it all down. But the reason why you want to do this is you want your foam and your material to stay in one place. You don't want it to vibrate and, and um, make extra vibrations within the the drum pad itself and just glue the uh, high dense foam on there now and this is the vinyl that I sewed up earlier just flip it over it's a little tedious but the final result looks really good almost professional actually better than professional now this is a table that that just was laying around. I think it's a laptop table. Couldn't use it for anything else. It's got a slant on it. I removed the top part. I'm using this pegboard. But you see the circles right there. That's where I'm going to put my drum pads on. I'm using the original bolts to bolt down the, the pegboard to the table thing. 
See, now what I'm doing is I'm testing it out. It's real sensitive. It's got sensitive pressure. You you may have to go into a drum module and adjust your pressure sensitivity because you don't want to hit one pad and set off the other triggers. So depending on the drum module you're using. But we're using this this setup basically for MIDI because I'm going to use sound from my computer. Like if you're using PreSonus or Fruity Loops, Acid, or whatever program you're using to make your beat, you want to use this as MIDI, then yeah, then the drum module, all that is is the bridge between pads to the, to the computer software. Alright, this is Prince Vince. He's He actually created this beat himself and he's having a hard time actually playing the beat live, but He's having a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY build. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe, comment. Awesome. Later.